Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, gameplay of the Mortuary Assistant. Um, so yeah, last time we played, it was pretty scary. <laughs> There's a lot of jump scares and I uh, I barely made it through. I, I wanted to quit because it was just scary. But um, yeah, we're going to be playing it again. It's uh, the perfect weather outside. It's pretty rainy outside right now. So it's uh, adding more to the atmosphere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, let's get into it. I'm gonna try to get the good ending this time. Because last time I uh, I got the bad ending. So uh, I think I, I gotta figure it out. I know, I know what I did wrong. Last time I messed up because I didn't assemble the the correct demon name. And I know how to do that now. So we're back at it again. I know what to do now. I don't have my clipboard. I got this. Alright, let's do Miss Krista. Krista Bogwin or something. Kinda. Kinda eerie. Like a bite, bite mark on her chest or something. First thing is investigate. I'm gonna try to do this quick. Of course, thunder. Thunder just starts going off. Who's on the phone? Hello? Hello, Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? Okay. Someone just happens to know my name. It's probably a prank caller. These damn kids. Try to prank call me again. I put it in the computer. The flag rash. The farm constitution. Magium. Nuptious. Okay. Alright, I don't know who's talking over there. We're closed, sir. Oh, there's that. Okay. Now we got it. Okay. Do. Okay. Alrighty. So now it begins. It's been a while since I've done this. Need to inject their. Okay, I'm hearing things. Are you sure? What the fuck? Alrighty. Okay. Someone just opened the door over there. Yeah, make sure to help yourself out over there. Close your mouth. That, that breath is pretty hot. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Get the mouth. Uh, insert eye caps. 
caps. Um, I caps, I caps. Those are I caps, right? Yes, I caps. I caps, okay. Alright. Okay, mix the fluid. Glutaride, methanol, alright. It's all here. Back then. It's uh, this one. Formaldehyde. This one up here. Glutaride. Why did you let me die? The hell? That's not letting me. Eh, it's not you. Not the same body. Hey, where's the... It's the lighting strip. This is all your fault. I regret every second with you. Time is running out, Rebecca. That was not that bad. It was pretty, a little bit different though. I, I haven't seen that scare yet. So there's a letter around here somewhere already. So that means there's a little demon around here. Where are you, buddy? Are you in here? You want me to go this way? Yeah, you're in here. You open the doors. Wait, so there's a letter here. What's the letter at? Oh, it's right there. It's like a Z with a little hair. <laughs> Put it there for now. Then I did it. I did one here too. On the cabinets. It has to be on the cabinets. We got the Z already. Just one around. Just the letter at. Who is it? Ah, uh, they left already. Where? Oh, shit! It's right there. <laughs> yeah, I could... That was well hidden. <laughs> seven right there. Okay, so it's like a weird seven. Like a like a seven with the Elvis haircut. All right, so seven with the Elvis haircut. Maybe this one. Okay. So I got two symbols down. <laughs> yeah, it was well hidden. <laughs> Okay. okay. Okay, now it lets me do it. Okay. Change pump. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. Uh, so what that 
Where's the empty uh, IV reservoir? It's this one. Then as you with cavity fluid. This cavity fluid. Gonna pump. Uh, remove the tubes. Troll car, yeah, I'm that one. Troll car is this one. Cubs not going through. Cleaners and bathroom. Great uh, tank cleaner. Tank cleaner is good. Pour into an embalming pump. Apply a moisturizer to the moisturizer. Ad. That's the moisturizer. Now it lets me use much moisturizer. Nice and moisturizing. All right. Turn body to cold storage. Wait, where's um? Uh... Oh, what are you doing down there? <laughs> we got a peeper out there, around here. I see you. I don't think I don't see you. That was my manager. Uh, she was just making sure I'm doing a good job, which I am. I was employee of the month, actually, last month. So I got two symbols down. your ass back in there. Mission bag. Okay, so now I got ashes. Heard someone crying. I got ashes. So the ashes, they're gonna be really important because um, they're gonna determine, they're gonna help me determine which body's the correct body. But I'm gonna try to find another signal. There's no signals here. Uh, Tell duck looks like a pretty good option. So Teldug might be it. Okay, so we got reports. Is there one here? Nope. Hey, look at you over there.
What is she? Oh, pretty freaky. She's gone. Yeah, that was the uh. That was the uh. The repair woman. She was just making sure the the ceiling was good, which it is. It's looking pretty good. Damn, her teeth are pretty bad. Gotta make sure you floss. There we go. Not the Fortnite floss, the actual floss. Yes. No. Know who that was? This back up. doing buddy <laughs> he's just standing over yeah that was Bob uh, he's one of my co-workers he's a little weird just gotta do a little little shanky shank sure it drains good there we go Oh, this is my uh, I bet it's the pizza. I ordered some pizza, but I returned it because uh, it was my pizza. Uh, hello, I need to report a missing person. Uh, sorry, her name is Rebecca Owens. She's 14. She, she has a drug problem. I was the uh, wrong place. Sorry, sir. I, I, I don't know. Uh, she was here at the house. I understand that. Hey, I who's that in the background? Alright. Alright. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Alright. Got another prank call. And these kids are relentless. Oh, I'm drowning. how her dad died oh wow she was just 14 when her dad died I guess he he slipped on something and he hit his head on the rock that's kind of tragic so that's why she feels she feels really guilty because if she wasn't all drugged up, her dad would have been alive still. 
Man, that's crazy. I, that's played through. I never saw that. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool to see that. There's... I was right there. It's like a weird... Like an upside down L. Or a reverse, reversed L. The reversed L. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, the L is normal. <laughs> it just has the dot. <laughs> oh, wait, then it could be... Who's got it? It has a Z, the little... 7 with the Elvis, then it has the L with the dot. And it has to be Telduk. Oh! Where did she go? She's a fucking magician. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it has to be Telduk. Shit, do I really want to risk it though? But which body? Why did this door close? Who said that door, door close? <laughs> okay, now I get to work. Thought I had forceps already. But I didn't. Hey, that was a pretty cool magic trick. Oh. Oh shit. You good though? Wow. What the? It's pretty trippy. I miss you so much. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't want to be here without you. Please, just... I love you. Somebody, get me out of here! They're gonna... They're gonna kill me! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Me you good, bro? Pretty trippy. High risk. You know what they say high risk, high reward. Some meds, antidepressants. Damn, three hundred milligrams. All to the high risk. Oh, it's so trippy. Alright, high risk, high reward. <laughs> Shadow Man. What the fuck? Nah, that's me. So she... I mean, it makes sense, because, you know, like... You would think that, um... Well, she basically thinks that her dad died because of her. And, um... That's why... She got really depressed. Yeah, it's kind of sad, though. Sitting here holding your coin right now, wondering if I'll ever have one of my own. What would the point even be? Even if one day I'm sitting here holding my own, no matter how many years are printed on it, it will still always have yours in the other hand. Never changing, stuck forever. It would always remind me of a life I cut short while I keep going. Can't imagine it. Ah. 
Ah, the necklace. That's a pretty, pretty cool necklace. What does that say? Also, priority coin. Oh. So the dad, he... He used to do drugs also. But, um, he was sober. Damn. Shit, don't do drugs. Alright, what do I do now? Man, that's kind of sad, sad though. This is the day I don't think about you. I didn't want the bliss. I struggled. This. Here, I'm not sure I can handle having it anymore though. I'm giving it to grandma when she visits next. I want so badly to have the piece of you with me. But I'm afraid of it. I don't deserve it. You told me that when I was little, I would put it around your neck every morning in the way to wake you up. Because kids just like shiny things and annoying their parents. I don't really remember it much. I just remember you being annoyed with me after the hundredth time. I would give anything to put it around your neck one last time and see you wake up. Damn, that's tragic. I'm going to write this over and over, paper after paper, thrown away. Then I realize it doesn't matter who's going to read this. Some nurse will shake their head and move on someday. Someone will think of me for the last time, and I'll be gone like I should be. Moment after moment I wasted, I lost you because I'm selfish. Never listened and I killed you. I ruined everything all on my own, my one real accomplishment. I can't do it anymore, I can't stay here pretending I want to be better. The truth is, I've given up. I gave up the moment I killed you. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I don't want to cause any more pain. Sorry, Grandma, I tried. I really did. At least now you were everything to me. You're all I had left, and it meant the world to me. You deserve so much more than to worry about what Rebecca is doing to herself. Damn. Damn, this game did a complete 180. <laughs> it went from scary to sad. Shit. Oh shit. You should have died when you had the chance. What the fuck? That was pretty trippy. What the hell? Which door? You mean my car door? Oh yeah, I've been down that. Uh, so it's a weird... Beyblade... Beyblade, Beyblade looking symbol. Yeah, I think... Gotta figure it out. Where is it? Is this what? Yeah. Okay. I just gotta get the symbols correct. Got. I got enough. 
so the symbol goes there. The Beyblade goes at the bottom. Beyblade at the bottom. There's no way to take him out. What up, Grandma? Don't you love your grandma? Fuck, I messed up. Whoa. What the hell? Am I you okay? You need a hug? Get away! <laughs> oh shit. Does that mean that grandma will try to kill me? I just need a test. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, crap, that got me. What the hell? <laughs> that actually got me. <laughs> Okay, so I think it has to be this guy because weird shit is happening. Oh, light just turned off. Need to call the electrician to get the light issue fixed. Apply a moisturizer. I can't hold, can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. Guess I'll get rid of my clipboard. Apply moisture. I thought there was something there. What's that noise? There's something over there. What the hell? It's pretty creepy. Ashes. Matchbox. Is that it? Ah, oh, that's a. It's a different signal. Yes. Well, no, it's it's a different signal. Yeah. That was. That was invidious. Oh, I see someone over there. <laughs> oh, it's not him. It's his signals are different. Just closed by itself. You're wrong, you know. You're wrong, you know. <laughs> Shit, what if he was 
What if he's lying to me? He said you're wrong. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this guy. Maybe he's just lying to me. Bye bye. Once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what? You're waging this some selfless, holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger. But I don't do this for some greater good. We, we just need to we need a call Doom Slayer. <laughs> I wish we could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal, right. It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control you're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. Yes. We did it. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> That was good. That was good, basically. Um, you can't run away from things always, so you just gotta face them on. That was a good message. No matter how dark, you just gotta face them. But yeah, it was a good game. I'll probably play this. There's a lot of different endings I haven't unlocked. I'll probably be uh, trying to get those endings. But um, anyways, y'all guys take care and stay safe. Peace.